Oh gosh, this is hard. It's just Kyle and Rebecca. I know, but we should have read these beforehand. thing that has ever happened to me. The very first time I met you, I knew you were something special. You were so sweet, nice, and friendly to everyone. Someone that stood out amongst the rest. You invited me out with a group of friends, and so our story began. We went out for dinner and fun barbecue events. You invited me to attend your church, and everything felt so special. We have been dating for three years, and even brought our own special person, Penelope, into this world. I vow to always stay faithful to this relationship as it's the only one I need on this world. Dear Jason, I can't believe it's finally our wedding day. It seems like just yesterday, I was visiting your family's house for the very first time and young Caitlin jokingly called me your girlfriend. <laughs> Even though we were far from dating at the time, you didn't deny it and I couldn't stop smiling. Or when I would do anything possible to try and make our paths cross throughout the day at the YMCA. I just knew shortly after getting to know you that you would be a consistent part of my life. Flash forward then to now, I'm so happy that I was right. Psalm 118.24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, today is one of the easiest days for me to rejoice. I see who God is making you, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm so excited to run this race towards Christ alongside of you. put your needs and the family's needs before my own. I vow to make sure we stay faithful to Christ and the church as there is nothing else. I vow to be the best father and husband to you and our kids. I vow to be there on the worst and on the best days. I vow to support you on whatever life throws at us. I vow to be on your side and no one else's. I vow to be there in sickness and in health. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I can't wait to see what fun adventures we have with our new family. You are unlike anyone I have ever met before, and I will always love you from now till the end of our days. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I vow to choose you every day for the rest of my days. I vow. No matter what you go through, you'll never face it alone. I vow to always love Jesus first so that my love for you can be an extension of his love. I vow that I love you now and I'll love you forever. You're my person, 
my love, my partner in crime, the funniest person I've ever met, my soulmate, and my best friend. My home truly is wherever I'm with you. So I vow wherever you go, I will follow. I love you. Love, Marlo. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jason, you may kiss the bride. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it's now my great honor and privilege to present to you and introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jason and Marla Newkirk. veteran of marriage you know a lot of time <laughs> I'd like to give the new man of the house here a few super super uh, marriage tips here first off and most importantly Marla is gonna be always right secondly trust in God's plan for your lives he placed you together to love and support each other through all the good times and through the days you feel like giving up you have each other finally Cherish every moment, even the inevitable arguments that we start on who forgot to buy the trash bags at Walmart. I, I've watched you grow into the responsible, caring young man that you are today. And to watch you become a father to Pinnell has put so much love into my heart that I thank God every day for that. Marla. I am very proud that you have entered into Jason's life. From the moment that you came into his life, you have helped him blossom into the man that he is today. There are friends, there are family, and then there are friends that become family. With that being said, Marla and Jason, you two have been a great blessing on my life. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Now as family and friends, let's all raise our glasses to Marla and Jason. Congratulations! Mine's a roast. <laughs> Mine's literally titled The Roast Welcome of Jason. For our roast session. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I did not write that. I vow to be the biggest pain. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of something that you hate. Mm. <laughs> I vow to never be ready on time. Oh. <laughs> That's it. <We're> done. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs>